Hey, what's up, y'all, and good morning. This is uh, Sean McAfee over here at Sean McAfee. Anyway, so this week I've got a mountain bike race in Arkansas called the Wachita Challenge. It's about 50 miles, uh, about 7,000 feet of climbing, I think. It's in, there's two days. There's a, a tour on Saturday. There's also a race on Sunday. So my legs are getting some much needed rest today and the rest of this week. I'll be back on the morning grind fondo, but for today's video, I needed the help of some of the indoor specialists. So I reached out to them with a really important question. How do you guys prepare for a race? What, what does your warm up routine look like? How do you get you know, into, the, into the spirit of racing, get your legs warmed up and ready prior to a morning grind fondo or a 3R race or one of the KISS Community League races? What do you guys do? Because you know a lot more than I do, so let's get some advice from the guys that are pros. Morning guys, um, I was asked about my uh, warm-up routine. Obviously, uh, Zwift racing and warm-ups just as important as uh, in real life racing, and uh, you're rolling out of bed and getting on the bike. So I try to get up about 45 minutes early, throw some cold water on my face, maybe a science and sport caffeine gel, get dressed, get on the bike 30 minutes beforehand. Normally like a five to seven minute uh, spin just to get you know the legs awake. And then I do some 30 second intervals, not all out intervals, but eight out of 10 uh, with a minute rest in between each, maybe four of those. Um, and then into some tempo work of maybe three to five minutes uh, at like a six to seven out of 10. And then just uh, spin till you get in the pin and uh, hopefully that helps you in your next event. Right on guys. Hey everybody, it's Sean with the Indoor Specialist Team. Just wanted to let you guys know what I do for my pre-race warm-up. Uh, I'm really simple kind of guy. I take 15 minutes before the race. Five minutes of it is super high cadence, spinning my legs at about 115 to 130 RPMs. I don't really look at the, uh, the power or the watts or anything like that or my heart rate. Um, afterwards, I'll do about five minutes where I can try to get a 15 second sprint in there, 45 seconds of cooling down, 15 second sprint, 45 seconds of cooling down, really to just let my legs uh, tell me what they've got in them. And then I like to get into the pen five minutes before the race, spin at a super light cadence, make sure that I have everything that I need, like my water bottles, um, you know, my phone is charged because I use that as a hotspot, um, and that my phone won't be getting any phone calls in the middle of it. Uh, and I check my work emails. And then after that, I'm ready to go, ripping off my legs, ripping off other people's legs, and just seeing generally what happens out there. So super simple way of getting ready before the races, but um, you know, still being so prepared that you're ready to go. So see you later, bye. Hi everyone, Holden Kamo here from the Indoor Specialist Squad. Uh, uh, been asked to share a couple of tips on, on warming up prior to races. Um, so I think uh, my, my, my general practice is um, that I like to spin my legs pretty easily for about 10 to, to 15 minutes if possible prior to the start of the race. Sometimes my warm-ups are dictated by my kids either the night before forcing me to stay up a little bit too late or making me get up early in the morning. Definitely made it to the line on a few occasions with 30 seconds to spare before the, before the countdown goes off. Um, I'm sure you all have shared uh, some of those experiences. But I think in general, on a good day, <clears throat> you know, 10, 15, maybe even sometimes 20 minutes. I usually don't like to warm up for too long prior to the start, to sort of save everything for the actual race. And honestly, I don't do much in the warm up other than spin my legs. Uh, and I, I, I don't put in, I don't have a, a, a regimented schedule or try to do any, any specific, um, uh, you know, uh, openers or intervals uh, to get going. Sort of save it all until I get to the actual start line, get prepared for that first big effort. Um, I can say that I'm always ready for that, no matter what. Um, about three to five seconds before the, the start goes, um, I've ramped my power up to well above threshold, like really ready to go, ready to rock, um, no matter what, for every every race. Um, so I'm always prepared for that. During the actual warm up, um, it's uh, just some easy riding, spinning my legs lightly and pretty quickly. Hope that helps. Bye. Good morning. I've been asked to discuss warm up protocol. Uh, in theory, I prefer to go with the Team Sky 20 25 minute. Um, a zone 1 to zone 4 progression with a couple of max spin-ups. Uh, in reality, I'm usually jumping on the bike about 
10 minutes before his lift race. So, if you're not familiar with the Team Sky protocol, it's enough to warm up the muscles and get them going, but not enough to complete your glycogen stores. So, I would highly suggest doing that and not the oh shit emergency. Um, hope you make it out of the pen in 10 minutes to warm up that traditional idea. Thanks, everyone. Hey everyone, it's Matt Brandt from Team Dirt Indoor Specialist. Today we're talking about how to warm up. I'm going to share my 15 minute quick warm up with you guys. Uh, the first 5 minutes, I try and go from low zone 1 and bring it up to low zone 3, coming through zone 2. And then the next 5 minutes, I do try and do 5 quick spin ups, 1 every minute, trying to go from about 60 RPM to 100, 110. And you don't want to have a lot of resistance, you just spin it up get your legs going and then the last five minutes I just cruise and usually I'm good to go. You can also find more advice from these indoor specialists if you go over to indoorspecialist.com. There's a section in the forum that specifically is for ask the pros so you're able to go in there and ask any questions that you might have whether it's nutrition, taking rest days, um, you know what how to structure your interval, interval workouts. All of these things are great questions to ask over at the indoorspecialist.com website and the forum.